now suppose we want to keep the layout the same and don't want to change the layout to something else from the list of the options we can click on this lock button over here we'll have to select all the vertices and click on lock the selected vertices this way even if we try to change the layout it won't change there you go similarly if you want to unlock the vertices you again select the graph and click on this key icon here um, it says unlock the selected vertices we also have this zoom function over here um, this like increases the size of the um, graph pane we also have a scale function which um, scales down the arrows and the sizes of the vertices as required by the user let's play around now with some formatting for the vertices uh, come to the vertices tab and on the color column we can enter the colors let's use pink for the girls and blue for the boys once we enter the colors we can go to the graph pen and click on refresh graph there you go the pink vertices are the vertices for the girls and the blue vertices are the vertices indicating the boys let's now look at the size column there you go the sizes of the vertices have increased we can also give shapes to the vertices there are a wide range of choices there you go the shapes have also changed for the vertices uh, for formatting properties also gives a different uh, adds a different dimension to node excel and it makes the graphs look uh, much more attractive and it does help a lot let's now add some um, labels to the graph over here the labels will help us denote the names of the vertexes in the graph since we want to give label names let's change the shape also to labels the label function helps us to uh, identify the names of the vertices in graph this can be quite useful if we don't need to constantly this will help us not uh, look keep constantly looking at the spreadsheets we can on, um, as well just concentrate on the 
graph pane and play around with it. Let's now rearrange uh, our vertices in the graph pane. This will help us get a clearer idea of um, how our graph is exactly. We can also use the graph options um, feature on the graph pane to <coughs> modify the graph um, through the other tab we can change the background color there you go the background is now yellow similarly uh, the edges and vertices tab also give us options for the vertices let's add some effects to the graph um, adding a glow effect here so when I added the glow effect you can see there is a um, surrounding color effect uh, at the vertices let's um, change the curvature for the graphs there you go the edges now have a high curvature node excel also has many columns of data related to visual properties labels layout and graph metrics uh, which can make the navigations of the worksheets quite challenging so uh, because of this many of the columns are hidden by default to view these hidden columns we can go to the sheet um, select uh, these columns over here as you can see after j it's directly end i right click and unhide these columns there you can see there are three columns which were hidden over here similarly in the vertices column we go to column K and there you go we can uh, also add labels uh, like the label names over here alongside the shape this will help us have more clarity when comparing attributes such as size so for adding labels aside a shape let us delete um, the labels from the shape column let's change the shape to disk And there you go um, the shapes have changed to disk the only problem over here when you change some attribute um, the graph pen every time you refresh the um, vertices and the edges will get uh, dearranged you have to rearrange them
there you go we have against rearranged uh, the vertices we can also add data that only shows up when we hover the mouse over a vertex uh, this is called a tooltip let's add data to the tooltip column Now that we have added data, let's refresh the graph. We can see that when I hover over Carol's name, we can see the tooltip showing us 20. So in this case, I have uh, taken the kept the tooltip attribute as age. So Carol's age is 20. Similarly for Ed, it's 21. For Frank, it's 20. We can also add edge labels. That is. Um, the for example over here the relationship between Ed, Ed and Frank the edge over here it will be given a label coming to the edges tab at the label column let's add the labels So over here for the party invitation, uh, the label is the mode of communication. Now that I have added the label, let's refresh the graph. So there you go. We can now see that the edge label is uh, denoted by the method of communication. For example, between uh, Gary extended the invitation to Helen in person. Whereas Ed called up Frank to invite him for the party. The edge label also uh, helps us um, not refer to the data every time. We can directly look at the graph and make analyses and come to conclusions. Now that I have given an introduction of some of the basic node excel features let's uh, save the node excel file uh, we will save the node excel file as we would do for any other file but you, we have to make sure that you select the standard excel workbook version which is an excel sx uh, extension Make sure you do not save the file as a 97-2003 workbook, a macro enabled or a binary workbook. Uh, so we come to the conclusion of the uh, basic Node Excel features through the party relationship example. Um, this example was based on a simple friendship network. In the next video I would be showing you how to uh, download data sets from the internet and work on them. Thank you.